She's not naturally a redhead. She can't act, and she does cartwheels everywhere. You know that you always get caught impossible. So what's the sitch? Call me, beat me if you want to reach me. So welcome to episode four. Four? Four? Yeah. Four. Four. <laughs> oh. four. Okay, um. so we are reviewing the live-action Kim Possible from I don't know what year. 2019. <laughs> 2019 really that was only last year it was okay. only last year yeah i just want to say this movie put me through so much pain i grew up with kim possible she was my idol she was so many sexual awakenings her and Chigo. that's one of my <laughs> biggest problems is how they did Chigo. i've always loved her she's so great she's like such a she just does icon it. icon <laughs> yes and they messed her up anyway this the show came out in 2002, I want to say, maybe, and I think it ended in 2006, something let like me, that. Let me check real quick. But, but Disney is making these this movie for eight-year-olds, and they're not going to know who Kim Possible is. Like, it has no nostalgia factor for them. So why are they making this live-action movie, and it's not old enough that it has, like, all this nostalgia? It would literally only be 12 years old. 2002 to 2007. Okay, I was close. They should have just left it alone. There's so many, um, like, lines where they definitely had to record in the studio and lay it over, and mm-hmm. they didn't even try nope. to, like, fix it. I need backup! One thing I really want to point out is the freaking green screen. Okay, here's the sitch. A big deal slime scientist has been captured by the evil Professor Dementor. And I'm gonna rescue her. Who am I? I'm Kim Possible. Everywhere. They, okay, so Disney likes to do things where they turn cartoons into live action and it doesn't work. A reason is because a lot of the things that they're doing can only be done in animation. Or like with high, high tech Avengers style budget. I feel like that's a majority of their budget probably went towards their green screen and animating Rufus for yeah. 15 minutes. If a majority of your movie has to take place in a green screen and you're not filming a satire or a parody, don't do it. I try not to trash on the, the characters themselves. However, Kim Possible is a terrible person in this movie. She's so mean! Oh my gosh! She's such a bad friend! No! Bad Kim daughter. Possible is supposed to be, like, the best person, best friend, best relatable, whatever. Like, the only person who doesn't like her is Bonnie because she's jealous of her. Bonnie's better than her in this movie. Your ego is through the roof, so much so that you get this girl captured. Throw it to me! I can do my killer move! <sighs> That's it's literally what happens in the Kim Possible animated movie. Draken creates a humanoid boy to make Kim Possible fall in love with him and then break her heart so it takes her spark. Like, this is literally the plot of the animated movie. Just switch it out with a gender. Like, stop. And, you know, make it best friends because it can't be gay. Right. right. Even though Kim Possible and Shigo, we're not going to get into that. They're supposed to be around the same age. Like, in the show, there's an Yeah, she, like, goes into the high school. Where she goes to high school with her, like, in yeah. the senior year or something. So they mm-hmm. have to be around the same age. She goes... 28 in this movie. I was watching this with my family, and one of my my sister, stepsister, made the comment. She said, the CGI in here looks worse than the CGI in Spy Kids and oh. Dark Boy and Lava Girl. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, you are right. There's so many unnecessary scenes in this movie. If we just take a look at their, their sneak peek scene, which I remember watching on Disney Channel when it came out. All yes. I remember is the bus scene. Yeah. The bus scene. Okay. She's like, where Wade is like, ah, you have 10 seconds, Kim, to get to the bus. And she's like, okay. Slightly runs faster. Kim, the bus is on your street now.
on the stroller yeah <laughs> they were facing each other like it was definitely one of the worst movies with kissing booth up there like they're both bad <laughs> in different completely different ways completely different yes but they're like right there we obviously have to forgive this movie more because it's a kid's movie right it's a kid's movie <laughs> but like but like decom by kid standards it's pretty bad <laughs> Um, if Demi Lovato can act while she's high on all sorts of drugs, right? then and this a, a little 19-year-old can act as a freshman. Right, yeah. And maybe uh, get a real redhead while you're at it. So there was the little throwback scene in her room with the original outfit. Hey, uh, why don't you wear this on missions anymore? It used to be your thing. <laughs> I don't know, I guess wearing the same thing all the time kind of felt cartoony after a bit. No, you don't wear it anymore because Disney didn't want to show your stomach on screen. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't remember that scene. What? Hold on, we gotta... Darn, I, I think I left my lip balm at home. Oh, I'm sure I have a spare. <gasps> wow! Is she, is she Hannah Montana? Like, why does she have <laughs> a secret closet? Yeah, it's, like, pretty common knowledge that this girl is some sort of secret agent. Not really secret. Um, also, I want to talk about unnecessary change they made, which makes me kind of mad, but I think it's the same reason they didn't have her in the original outfit, is cheerleading. They had her do cheerleading in the intro, yeah. And then this is a soccer school. Soccer. <laughs> Cut. No. Maybe that's the reason, but in the intro for cheerleading outfit is full coverage. So like why did you change it to a soccer? What what conflict does it create? Any conflict you had with your soccer, you could have had easily with the cheerleading squad. Exactly. <laughs> Like, that's her thing. She's, like, one of, she was the head cheerleader. That's the thing. Also, mm -hmm. they make her to be this, like, smarty pants, like, go-getter, good grades person. Where in the show, she's not. She fails. She almost fails a few classes. Yeah. <laughs> she's not the most intellectual student or, like, studious student. I you mean. had the show blueprinting this movie. You had a movie of the show already blueprinting this movie. You don't have to create a new storyline, even though they really didn't. They just changed, like, a few unnecessary things. I do want to touch upon the things I found redeemable in this movie, and it's come down to three. Oh, uh, I was about to say, this redeemable thing? <laughs> <laughs> there are three things. They, they did a pretty good job with Mr. Barkin. As he, like, resembled the teacher well. He was casted well. He was, like, this, like, everywhere kind of teacher. You don't really understand why that is i think he was redeemable enough for the movie compared to everything else also the bill the billboard sign for the high school i don't know if yes you i, I noticed that <laughs> uh, uh, a plus work <laughs> right out of the pages of the show i, I really only the condemn the true thing that i was happy about this entire time was how they did the billboard also i want to say that the actor who was playing ron he was in the goldbergs i didn't think he was doing a good job until we got about three quarters in the movie when they were like swimming in a like they were trapped in like electric eels <laughs> what's that sound to us if i had to guess electric eel oh, ron i've never told you this but I am terrified of electric eels! Well, isn't that nice and after all this time we're still learning about each other? One! Trying to like 
assess the situation in a wrong way. I want to say good job to, I think his name's Andy. I have no idea. I have I no don't idea know. at all. He's the oldest person. He's 21 years old. Well, besides Shigo. Besides Shigo and Draken. Oh, Draken! Draken was pretty good. Yeah, Draken was pretty good. And I Draken was pretty I good. I recognize the actor. <laughs> this is the uh, second time we've seen an actor from the Vampire Diaries universe. Of course. <laughs> 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 First we had <laughs> Chloe, who was in the originals, and now we have the person who plays Draken, who was in the first season of the originals, who played a priest. I'm seeing a trend, and I kind of like it. I will say I was glad that we didn't have a legacy school in this one. We didn't have a dead parent who's trying to, mm-hmm. to like, had a school, so, like. But also, she's only a freshman. That's true. And her fighting is sort of, you know, in the same range as her mom and grandma. Also, the grandma has a Japanese dojo. (laughs) Can we unpack that? (laughs) (laughs) Like, that was just something that stuck out to me. Like, okay, you might be fighting in a Japanese style. Was it? Was it? I don't remember which fighting style. But, like, that doesn't mean you need to have a Japanese style gym. Also, she was wearing, like... A kimono. A kimono, yeah. Who in their right mind was like, I'm gonna go fight my arch nemesis, Dr. Draken, and his henchwoman, Shigo, and bring my mom and grandma. (laughs) Okay, but, like, (laughs) when they're at the school, and he's like... Henchmen, attack! And she's like... Henchwomen, attack! Oh. Like, Feminism! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my lord. I guess. Uh, I nearly fell asleep during the last 20 minutes of this movie. I'm not gonna lie. Like, after the gym scene, laughing? I was just like, okay, I know how this is gonna turn out. And I just, like, to be fair, I was laying in my bed. And I'm not a morning person, and I watched this not that <laughs> long ago. <laughs> um... So it might have been something to do with that. But if a movie is, like, interesting or, like, funny because it's bad, then I won't fall asleep to it. So there might be an issue with how you are running your movie, Disney. Oh, the writers in this movie, we see this a lot in all the movies we uh, choose to um, review. Uh, writers trying to relate to the team. This song is bomb. Who is it? Oh, oh my gosh, your hair is on point. You know what makes me sad in general? She's trying to portray this fan as much possible, and then she has the audacity to go to Comic Con with that crappy cosplay. She put a red mop on her head, and you cannot bring your dog to Comic Con, no matter what world you're living in or what convention you go to. You cannot bring your dog, Ron. <laughs> Sparkable or whatever it was. Like, as you can tell, Jeanette has gone to a Comic Con. Yes. <laughs> she yes, has I cosplayed have. before. Yes, yes, I have. And I have a picture of me. I'm not going to share the picture because my cosplay itself is kind of bad, but I have a picture of me standing next to Kim Possible and Shigo, and their cosplay is great. Um, back to the beginning. Uh, the slime scientist. <laughs> another, another reference to pop culture. I've done everything you've asked. I've formulated the world's most dangerous disintegrating slime. Please, please let me go. My dear Dr. Glockman, you say this is the uber slime. Let's make sure and and then the evil guy the evil guy who is like forcing the slime scientists to use his power for evil um the evil dude is russian and i was just like are we still in the cold war what's going on (laughs) why is this why is this bad guy automatically 
a Russian with a bad accent. Oh, oh, can we touch upon the bad acting real quick? Like, just overall? Uh, overall. But really, in particular, Kim. Chico? Oh, okay. You go to. I find, I put my decision that Kim can't act, like, no redeem at all, was when she was having her heart-to-heart with her Nana. Something's off. Oh, me. I'm off. I walked into high school, and it's like, it stopped being good at things. Even worse, Athena had one good fight, and now she's amazing at everything. Well, she's your friend, right? Yeah. Well, then you should be happy for her. After all, you guided her. Now she's having a little success, all thanks to you. What is it, baby? I've never, never met someone who's better than me. Fake crying, but it's so bad that it reminded me of Laura Lee's apology video. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Nana. And I know how stupid that sounds, but it's like, whatever I have that makes me me, she has more of it. Also, whenever she's trying to, like, show remorse for being a bad friend. or Yeah, trying she's to like, be I'm not jealous. I've just never been second best before. Right. It's what makes me me. If I'm not first at it, then I'm not me. And I'm like, hated her. Also, she go bad acting. They couldn't give her powers. No, 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 no. They had to give her, like, like, like gadgets like on her gadget, arm. Like, gadget, tech, Iron Man, pew, pew, gun thing, wrist things. Mm -hmm. Stop it. The sass that she go just naturally embodies. It's not there. Um, did you get the Zacadium 246? What? It's the power source for my revenge plot. Oh, yeah, it's in there. Oh. In, the, in there, there, there? It's over, I can't reach it. It's not no. there. Like, she go in the cartoon, it's so effortless. It's right. so effortless. She and then here, it just feels so super force. There's just some issues with them trying to make Kim Possible modern day. It's so like a tone to its time. Like you have the beeper and the flip phone cell phone <laughs> and, the ma and the fax machines and like the the tech stuff from Draken and you just like I don't think you could do Kim Possible in the 80s when they had dial up internet and like pho car phones. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. You can't do it now when you have like iPads and necklace holograms like it was made for its time it's set with with her whole like being late to class thing she she's like okay well what I need a scan of all of like the vents and of uh, ducks of the school so I can get to class on time because it's on the other side of the school or whatever um honey if everyone else can take the hallway, so can you. And like the the scene where she's it out in, outside and she like she just like dives into the dark. It looks so it bad. Out. It looks so bad. It's like, so she... bad. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Ron met up with her. Yeah. And he took the hallway. Yeah. <laughs> he was like half a second later. But the POC representation in the background characters, not the main cast, because that was as white as anything, except for Athena, but I don't really know what she was. Probably just a dark Italian. Great job. You kind of tried. You put kinda minimal tried. effort. You made the mean girl Asian. Good on you. I think the girl who plays Bonnie has won a Kids' Choice or a Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Award. I could be completely BSing it, but if you want to look it up, she was on the show called Make It Pop. I don't know if you watched it or not. Oh my god, I remember that show. <laughs> Low-key kind of fire, not gonna lie. It was, it was kind of good, yeah. I bought the soundtrack for the first season. Like, <laughs> Did was, you really? Yes! On my iPod Touch, fourth gen, I bought the soundtrack for Make It Pop season one. We make it, you make it, you make it, oh, 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 make it pop. I do kind of feel bad for the actor who plays Wade, though, because I think for every one of his scenes, they sat him down in a soundstage with green screens and told him to read lines for a day. 
Like, that's what Probably. they did. He had no interaction <laughs> with any of the other characters. And, nope. like, Wade is such an underrated character in the show, period. Like, they just did him so dirty. Stop. And, and, and whenever he sipped from his cup, um, his mouth wasn't actually on the cup. His lip was touching the straw. <laughs> Uh, the same thing happened with the whistle in the soccer, um, scene. <laughs> the girl, why like, they put scared, her- Like, why are they scared to do these things? Like, <laughs> the running, the blowing on whistles, and the sucking of drink from a straw. These are human things that we do daily. Yeah, just put water in the cup. Like- right. Or suck up air. I don't care. Yeah. Don't just what? don't be like. Like no. Why is a sophomore a team captain? Like and <laughs> the way I was thinking it right is oh they're on junior varsity, so a sophomore would be captain. But then she says freshman can't join. So I'm like okay, is it? Uh, I think she was just saying that to Kim because she welcomes Athena. Mm-hmm. So, like, should have just stuck with cheerleading. When they give her the job of, like, equipment manager, she could have said no. Like, you did it for plot convenience, so that way you right. can meet Athena. However, if they just start walking home, you can still meet Athena. Regardless, I've had the absolute worst first day of school that any <laughs> human could have. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> it was awful, Mom. I didn't make any friends, and I just tripped and, and tore my backpack everywhere, and <laughs> everyone laughed. No, stop. And what were they trying to? What were they trying to show with Athena's hair? I just want right? to know. Right? Like, I who, who goes to school with hair like that? Yeah, and she said that people were laughing at her because she dropped her backpack. They were making fun of your hair, if anything. It was after school. Yeah, I didn't so, see a person around. No, so maybe like two people. Two I people dropped saw my you drop backpack your stuff. before and nobody's laughed at me. Maybe that's just because I'm so <laughs> cool and my hair is like decent, but mm-hmm. nobody's laughed at me when I've dropped my backpack until we had our designated makeover scene. I yeah, and she gets clip in highlights. I was kind of upset. That they didn't make it a montage, but no, you had to be different and just cut to when she comes out with blown out highlights and just this weapon suit, this like mission suit she's already have on hand. <laughs> <laughs> Towards the end, when they when she exploded and Rufus sniffed her out, how did he do that? Because she's not a human. She's a robot. She doesn't have human smells. He just smelled the scent of burning metal. Of of a singed hand? Were you asleep when you watched this part? Probably, yes. (laughs) (laughs) Athena, we're gonna get you out of there! Ah! And Rufus goes and Not sniffs. traumatizing for a freshman at all. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna patch you up good as new, okay? I promise. And I'm like, you can ah, uh, you can't show this to eight-year-olds. Are oh. you crazy? And to fix her, Kim gets her rocket scientist dad and her brain surgeon mom to fix this robot. And then they happily ever, happily ever after. Yes. And then, like, the doctor gets turned into a little boy. I saw yeah. that much. <laughs> that was taken straight out of Sky High's book. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did you watch the end credit scene? No, I did not. What was the end credit scene? All right, hang on one second. I'm getting a call. Hello?
Hello? Hello? Your dad said it sounded boring to be on a Zoom call with me. Is that what I heard? No, he said, wow, so important. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, Orlando, excuse you. <laughs> That's, do you have anything else to say? I don't, I don't believe so. Well, that is our chaotic movie review of Kim Possible, the live action of 2019. Because it 2019. was 2019. 2019. Last was, year. Last year. <laughs> last year. Times were simple when <laughs> the worst things that came out were Kim Possible, the live action movie, and the movie Cats. Um, oh, we're not. <laughs> we are not reviewing the movie Cats. I don't want to watch that. But that's all we have for this one. Uh, if you please, in the comments below, tell us your least favorite uh, Disney remake. Disney remake, Disney rom com, Disney decom. You know. Disney. Tell Disney. us your least favorite Disney thing. Yeah. There know, are plenty of racist, low-key homophobic if you things you can any, choose from. Any strife with Disney, let it out in the comments below. Let us know. Let us know. We will definitely probably agree with you. Uh, but yeah, that's all we have for today. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, next week, we're doing a good movie. <laughs> it's been uh, four episodes. <laughs> I know. We'll see you next week. Uh, make sure you go follow our socials and look at the stuff down below yeah exactly okay. mm -hmm. see ya <laughs> see <you guys. laughs>